first to break the news of the bank robberies this morning and joins us now live with more on the second robbery. Brian? Robert, thank you. Good evening, everyone. When you think of a bank robbery, you may think of a big production, a lot of yelling, confusion, and fear. If that's the norm, then this second bank robbery of the day was anything but, with a suspect eyewitnesses describe as being quiet as a church mouse. Sioux Falls police say the second bank robbery began about eight minutes after noon during Sioux Falls lunch hour rush with the suspect walking in, demanding money, threatening a gun but never showing one, then running away. Bank customer Dorothy Sandmeyer was inside conducting some business and never knew about the robbery until it was over and done and the suspect was gone. He didn't make any noise or you know, nothing out of the ordinary. It's like people come in and out of the bank and they take care of business. And while the robbery comes as a surprise to investigators, they had a hint something like this was a possibility. Last week, a Midwest law enforcement alert was issued after similar bank robberies in the area. We actually, I believe, had gotten some intelligence on a similar type of uh, situation that had occurred down in the Iowa area over the last couple of weeks. So, um, you know, the officers and, and we were aware of the situation. The suspect arrived quietly and left the same way, running east across Kiwanis towards Randall's grocery store, then simply vanishing. Police checked the area looking for any type of clue. Police tell Dakota First News they believe that the suspect in that first premier bank robbery had a car hidden several blocks away to avoid detection and pursuit. And Mitch and Nancy, at least for the moment, it seemed that it worked. Both the investigation and the search for a suspect do continue at this 6 o'clock hour. All right, KSFY's Brian Allen and Robert Wilson reporting. Allen has